Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So after the video I made about the top repeated topics in mathematics, a number of you talked about having a chemistry version of that video. So I thought of making this video and bringing it up before you. And there are two basic things this video will do for you. Number one, it will help assess yourself to know how far you've gone in terms of preparation. And also it will help channel your efforts properly. That is if you have not prepared well enough to know areas where you have to you know, focus on the most. So without wasting time, let's get right into these topics you need to know before your jam chemistry exam. The first topic on the list is separation techniques. And here you should know separation processes like evaporation, filtration, simple distillation, fractional distillation, crystallization. And for filtration, know the names of the components after a mixture undergoes the filtration process. And also know about sublimation, its meaning, and on what condition does it take place. If possible, give ex know about a few examples regarding sublimation. The next topic is atomic structure and chemical bonding. So for this topic, you need to know about the concepts of atoms, molecules, and ions. And also, some great scientists have had great inputs in the development of atomic structure. Learn about their inputs and what contributions have been made, actually, to the development of the atomic structure. Learn about the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons, and know how to get them. That is how to calculate them from atomic number and also mass number. You should know that atomic number gives the number of protons, and also the difference between atomic number and mass number gives the number of neutrons. Also, you should know that in a neutral atom, the number of electrons equals to the number of protons. These are basic things you need to know because they will go a long way to help you, you know, in trying to attempt other questions too. Also, learn about isotopy, learn about the shapes of orbitals, and you should know the number of electrons in the S and P orbitals. Now for chemical bonding, you should know the types of bonding and you should be able to differentiate them. Be a little more focused on covalent and electrovalent bonding. Know the meanings and their differences. One has to do with the sharing of electrons, the other one has to do with the transfer of electrons. These are things you should know. Now the next topic is gas laws. Here you need to know about vaporization, melting, freezing, boiling, and also learn the gas laws. The Boyce law, the Charles law, Graham's law, Dalton's law of partial pressure, and also Learn how these laws are graphically represented. Learn about um, ideal gas equation. Know about you know simple calculations regarding these laws. The next topic here is acid bases and salt. And here you need to know the properties of acids and properties of bases. And also know how to get the basicity of an acid. Know about the different types of salt and various methods in preparing this salt. And also learn simple calculations regarding pH and pOH. The fifth topic is chemical equilibrium. And here you should know the factors that affect the position of equilibrium in a chemical reaction. And also you should be able to determine the effects of these factors on equilibrium constants. The next topic is rates of reaction. And here you should know the factors that affect the rates of chemical reaction, like pressure, temperature, concentration, and all of that. Know about these factors and what effects do they have actually on rates of chemical reaction. The next topic on the list is solubility. And here you should be able to differentiate between true solutions, suspensions, and colloids. And also know the differences between the types of solutions. And you should also learn calculations regarding this topic, solubility. Now, the next topic on the list is air and air pollution. Although then there's not so much about this topic, but at least know about air and then know that it's a mixture. Know about the components of this mixture. And if possible, know about the percentage composition of this component. The next topic is periodic table and periodicity. This topic is very, very important in chemistry. In fact, it serves as a very good foundation in chemistry. Not just that the questions will show up from this topic, but it will serve as a good foundation to answering other questions relating to chemistry. You should be very good with elements and their symbols for at least the first 20 elements. If you can know that for the first 30 elements, that is from hydrogen to zinc, that will be perfect. Also know the various groups in the periodic table. Each of these groups have elements with unique properties. Know about these properties for the elements in a particular group. And also know what happens among the elements when you go across the periods and groups. The next topic is oxidation and reduction. And here you should know how to classify chemical reactions in terms of oxidation and reduction. Know how to get oxidation number and you should be able to distinguish between oxidizing agents and reducing agents in redox reactions. And very importantly, you should know the definition of oxidation and reduction in various terms. In terms of removal of oxygen, addition of oxygen, removal of hydrogen, addition of hydrogen. You should know 
this in various terms. The next topic on the list is electrolysis. And here you should know what electrolytes are, what known electrolytes are, what um, electrodes are. And you should also study the electrochemical series and know the preference of electric discharge. The next topic on the list is energy changes. Here you should know about enthalpy and also entropy. And also learn about the heat changes in chemical and physical processes. The next topic on the list is metal and their compounds. And here you should know about the general properties of metals. Know about the alkali metals and the alkali earth metals. And you should know about their properties. Also learn about the properties and ores of metals like tin, aluminium and copper. It is very, very important. Although there are other metals anyways, but then just know about this one very, very well. The next topic is non-metals and their compounds. And for this topic, learn about hydrogen, learn about halogens like fluorine and chlorine, learn about oxygen and sulfur, know about these um, non-metals. And also study about carbon, it is very important. And also learn about its allotrope, that is allotrope of carbon. The next topic on the list is organic chemistry and here you should learn generally about hydrocarbons and know how to name organic compounds following the rules. You should know what functional groups are and know them. Know especially the alkanes, the alkenes and alkanoids. So these topics are topics you should know before your jam chemistry exam. They are highly repeated and I guarantee you that if you know so well about these topics, they will go a long way to improve your score in chemistry. Although these are not all the topics you should be focused on, but then they are highly repeated and it is very wise that you know these topics at least before you think of going into the other topics. And I'm certain that if you know these topics well enough, you'll do very well in your jam chemistry exam this year. So with this, we've come to the end of today's video and I hope you found value in this content. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. And I wish you good luck in your exam. Until next time, take care.